If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. I post a new Tom Brady video every day. But this guy's upset. Yeah. I'm mad. Why? I would be. You know what? I mean, let's just get this out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> if they make the correct call, which they did at first, uh -huh. and then they overturned it, this this 18 game playoff streak uh, mm -hmm. that that the half Tom Brady had, mm -hmm. it never happened. So it would have never been a talk. Tom Brady owes me his house. Mm -hmm. I'm the reason why he's married to who he's married to. <laughs> I'm the reason for a lot of that. The big they, man, they, everything. everything, because they overturned that call right there. Tom, you old Charles. You know, Tom, if you're watching, you, you old Charles. Everything. Tom, come on now. What that's up. That's up. It was a fumble. It's still a fumble. First time you met Tom Brady was when, Charles? Man, that had to be 1995. Mm. <laughs> you know, it's been, it's been a long time, man. But, I mean, we, we were freshmen together at Michigan, so uh, it's been a long time ago, Rich. People always ask me all the time, man, what, what did you see in Tom Brady in school? You know, did you ever think he'd be this good? And, you know, it, it, it's just crazy to come, you know, to be here 20 – you know, four years later, and him, you know, being a six-time Super Bowl champ. 2001, we're playing you guys, yeah. playoff game. What's it showing blitz? Here he is, bearing down on Brady, calls the football! Beacon dives on the ball! Charles Woodson came on a corner blitz, and he rocked his former Michigan teammate, the guy who lockered only two stalls away from him in Ann Arbor, and knocked the ball away. Just gotta ask you, man. Was it a fumble? All right, that, that was pretty awkward. So, I guess we'll kind of yeah, let's move get on into the present. Else. Yeah, we'll get into the present. Yeah. How often do you do you uh, hear about that, Charles Woodson? About the tuck rule? Yes, sir. Man, I, you know, Rich, I, I feel like I hear about the tuck rule every day. I feel like it comes up somehow, some way, in some conversation, you know, the tuck rule. You know, I mean, especially, you know, when you run into uh, Raider fans uh, on a daily basis, they'll always say, it was still a fumble. So, I mean, you can never, ever get away from that play. I'm sure I'll be hearing about that play, you know, for the rest of my life. So, all the time, Rich. It's amazing how... Uh on one snowy night in New England, mm -hmm. in the backfield of a playoff game between the Raiders <laughs> and Patriots, converging in the backfield is Charles Woodson and Tom Brady. Yep. And ball comes loose. Tuck rule appropriately applied. Uh, very appropriate. Yep. Very appropriate. Do you ever talk with Charles Woodson about this conversation? Till this day, yes. Charles does not want to talk about that. If I bring it up, just in joking, he, he gets a little irritated. So, of course, I just got to... You know, dig a little bit more because it was funny because after the game, you know, normally every time I play against Charles, we meet up in the parking lot and, you know, just chop it up. But after that game, I'm coming, you know, by his buses. I'm like, we're, we're Charles. You know what I mean? He ain't going to come all his boys. So I seen when he came up, I was like, what? He walked straight on the bus. So in typical <laughs> Ty Law fashion. I'm going to go and say, man, you're going to come talk to me, man. It's just a game, even though it was to go to the Super Bowl. So I walked on. On the bus, on the front of the bus. And I'm like, what? You, you know, bought it, your Raiders I, bus? Yeah, I boarded the Raiders bus. And then everybody was sitting there looking. So I said, you ain't come out. He said, man, I ain't with that, man. I ain't with that. And I was like, F y'all did. That's why y'all lost anyway. And I ran off. <laughs> the whole <laughs> the whole team about got up was like, you know, about to try to come chasing me and stuff like that. So I hurried up and ran off the bus. Oh, man. <laughs> Little Rich, man, that's that's true story, man. I mean, and it, and it happened exactly that way. I mean, after the game, you know, we're all we're all really pissed off about the game, and uh, you know, everybody's heard my quotes after the game. You know, it, it was cool, you know. So I was I was mad, man, because I felt like we were robbed. Uh, you know, Raider Nation felt we were robbed. The team grew, and everybody felt we were robbed. And of course, man, I'm not in the mood to talk to anybody. And Ty, everybody knows that's my main man. And uh, it was like I, I couldn't I couldn't even look at him, man. So I got on the bus, man, and here he comes, man. He steps up the steps in the front of the bus. Hey, 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 Tyler, what's up, man? I'm like, Ty, man, come on, bro. We 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 ain't doing that today. <laughs> oh, all right. You, you said well, that's why y'all lost that. He ran, then he ran off the bus, man. And I'm sitting there like, cause cause he's my boy. You know what I mean? So right. everybody on the bus, 
not only are they looking at him, but then they're looking at me like, man, this dude just came on the bus, you know, talking crazy. <laughs> dude, that, that was like, that was the insult to injury right there, man. That, 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 it hurt so, I mean, it hurt so bad. You know, people always tell me, hey, get over the tuck rule. Well, listen, I played 18 years in the football league. Like, I got over the tuck rule. Obviously, I'm thinking we lost the game, okay? Not knowing at the time of the tuck rule. Nobody knew about the tuck rule. Just being honest, I didn't know what the tuck rule was. I had never heard of this rule before. I had never heard of the tuck rule myself. The tuck rule itself, I had never experienced that. I knew that play. I mean, that was the rule. So I am mandated on behalf of New England fans everywhere, including the gentleman to my left, who you know is a New England fan and also my wife. I turned my back to him. No, I understand you did. <laughs> <laughs> wow. The, the difference is, is the tuck rule. Do you not believe the tuck rule was appropriately applied as it was written in the rule book? I do not. I do. You're arguing that his arm was going forward. Mm -hmm. I would say, well, show me the part where his arm's going forward. You would show the tape. You see his arm going forward, and then you'd bring it back. And then I say, well, tell me, when did he fumble? Did he fumble while his arm was going forward? And you would have to tell me, uh, no. He brought it when he brought it back into his body. Hence the tuck rule. Correct? Yes. Okay. So was he bringing it back into his body or was it into his body? So there's, there's, there's a technicality to it. Hey, look. So the, he's not, he wasn't bringing the ball back into his body. When I hit him, he had it, both hands on the ball. It's in his body. He ain't bringing it back into his body. It's a fumble. Go ahead. Go ahead and what? If the ball was tucked, look what happened. All right. I'd have held on to the ball. Okay. I, all so, right. I'll okay. give you that. Doesn't right. take much pressure to knock it out at that point. Go ahead. Fumble. Or, in this case, tuck rule. <laughs> <laughs> in this case. Freeze it on in that. In this case. It's Freeze it on <laughs> that. Did you hear him? Fumble. <laughs> I'm going to sack your ass for once. Get the ball. Go get him. Fumble. No. Ladies and gentlemen, I have won the case. I rest my case. The prosecution has won. The prosecution, the prosecution has, has lost <laughs> again. Two plus two is four, unless you add one. See, and I, then it's five. See, I thought you meant two plus two is five because that's so many Super Bowls Tom Brady has won. Uh, I like that. I can dig it. I can dig it. I can dig it. I, I, I love the fact that he's won five Super Bowls. I'm happy, and I'm actually happy for him. This guy. <laughs> the fact that the fact that he, he's still here, you know, is mind blowing. Uh, I love him. <laughs> Ty Law might go into the Hall of Fame. Yeah, and he told should, me should be. He told me a story about that night. Yeah, I, that I we saw put that on man. the air. I saw that man. Do you want to tell that story? I saw it, man. What I was... happened after that game when Ty Law sought you out? Right. Oh man, and you know Ty's my. That's, that's my I know guy, you're man. Michigan that's, guys. You that's go my back, guy, but right. You know, we lose a game and everybody's pissed and uh, get on the team bus, leaving the game, getting ready to leave the game. And all of a sudden, guy comes up the stairs of the bus. Hey, Charlie. Hey, Charlie. What's up, man? You ain't going to holler at your boy? I'm like, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> oh, man, what? You then, man. And he walks off the bus. I'm, I'm livid, man. I'm livid. I'm like, like that's my guy. But man, I wanted, to, I wanted to throw hands with Ty, man. But he just, I mean, he rubbed it in my face, man. And, and uh, it wasn't, a, it wasn't a pretty sight. Well, I, he, didn't, I didn't appreciate it. He that. said that you always would seek each other out after a always, game, always, and that you did not seek him out. So he was going to seek you out, despite the fact that it's the Raiders team boss after that game. This man had the audacity <laughs> man, <laughs> to leave his locker room and come on our bus after we got robbed. <laughs> that, yeah, that, that took some, you know what. Gumption. So, yeah. <laughs> took some gumption. Yeah. Audacity. Yeah. Oh, I don't know my. if I'm still, I don't, I don't know if I'm over that either. That's it for this video. I post a new Tom Brady video every day. So please like and subscribe. That way you'll always have a new Tom Brady video to watch every single day.